If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this video, we are going to see how you can observe your performance test from your JMeter without running your test in the CLI mode. For that, we are going to leverage Ubic Load Pack Observability plugin. So just open your JMeter and install the plugin manager. You can see my previous videos and head to uh, plugin manager window here and here search for Ubic Load Pack. And Ubic Load Pack has multiple plugins. So one of the plugin is uh, Observability plugin where you can monitor your performance run from your browser. Here I already installed the plugin as you see in, under the installed plugins you can see this uh, plugin name. Now let me close this. So this script will hit the uh, local host uh, 8080 and it's a sample application uh, where I deployed in Kubernetes. Now as you see uh, if I click on uh, the validate uh, thread group it is hitting the particular uh, endpoint. So as of now it is good but now I want to run this and I want to see the performance of the endpoints. Usually what I do, I just create the uh, script, parameterize and launch the command line prompt and pass all the arguments and I will run it for say 5 to 10 minutes. Then I will generate the HTML report or I will pass the commands in the command line so that once the test is done, the HTML report will be generated and then we can see the what is the performance of the endpoints. But instead, you can leverage this plugin and in the runtime itself, you can see the data. So how we can do that? So once you install the uh, Ubic Load Pack plugin, just right click on your uh, thread group and go to add and go to listener and add the Ubic Load Pack Volaventy plugin. Once you add this, it will fill automatically all the details, uh, the default values. For example, web server port is 1990 and route percentile and uh, open metrics route and processing threads. So all other configuration you can just see it. So under the hood what it will do is it will start the you know web server and then it will uh, capture the metrics from JMeter and then it will push for every I think uh, 30 seconds. So here you can see the uh, log frequency uh, in uh, seconds. So here you can change your uh, you know the frequency for example say 5 seconds or 1 second etc and also you can change the other uh, configuration as well. And here there is one checkbox uh, keep a server up after test ended. So if you want to uh, keep the open metrics uh, you know up and running all the time then you can check this box but as of now I'm not going to uh, check this. And at the bottom as you see there is a uh, help me and if you just uh, click here it will uh, launch the, uh, the help manual of this uh, particular plugin. And here uh, you can just quickly uh, glance through what are the prerequisites and how you can bypass your uh, you know, enterprise network using the proxy and other uh, information. So let me close this window and what I can do, let me click on uh, run. So before that, let me quickly disable the view results tree because we don't want that and hit run. So now we can launch the uh, local host 1990. So let me just go to my Safari browser and launch local host and 9090 and hit enter. So in the right side, as you see in the left side, so right now uh, it is displaying uh, no context on the port number on the home route because we are not running anything. But the URI, there are three URIs by default, you will get it. One is uh, metrics and another one is for uh, config and one is for ULP volumity. So here as you see, uh, the status is available, started and uh, you know uh, display name etc and it's powered by uh, eclipse jetty server so now let me open this uh, you know ulp metrics so here it will display all the you know uh, the metrics by default whatever it captures so if you think of like uh, you know uh, uh, prometheus metrics so here they're using open metrics and here if you just scroll down you can see all the details so this is what the uh, the web server fetches the uh, details and then display it in your uh, charts and graphs so now let me uh, go to the uh, config uh, URL. So here the config, as you see, the metrics route, a log frequency, top errors, a total level. So whatever the default configuration from JMeter, you're just uh, seeing it in this particular URI. So now let me just open the the actual, you know, the O11T thing. So this is my uh, observability dashboard. 
So right now I have two transactions. As you see here, the average response time for the uh, T00 or T10. So basically they are converting the transaction name into lowercase uh, because I have given the uppercase. So that is, uh, you know, as per the design, I guess. But if you uh, keep scrolling, so what I'm particularly interested is this particular total info uh, section. So here it will display the average response time. It is five milliseconds, percentage zero, good. Maximum response time, uh, 20 milliseconds. Uh, and then 50th percentile, 90th percentile, 95th percentile, and total number of requests and number of threads and the throughput. So this is coming from uh, your uh, G meter for every 30 seconds. But of course you can reduce the number of seconds, but your CPU utilization will jump up because it is running, uh, it is switching the details for every second. So always keep it like five seconds, you know, tops. So that will help you out to get some, you know, some meaningful metrics uh, in a regular interval. And here you can just filter, you know, just uh, toggle on and off the label. So it'll automatically, uh, you know, filter the uh, transaction name. Or you can, what you can do on the top left. So here you can also filter. So for example, uh, you know, vote for emoji. So just select and uh, uh, click outside, you know, that then it will filter uh, everything for the uh, graphs. So similarly, you can just uh, delete this and then you can have the, you know, leaderboard. So now you can see it is uh, filtering the graphs. So this is how you will uh, use, you know, the uh, UB Cloud Pack Absolute dashboard. So in case if you don't want to run in CLI mode, you know, then you can just uh, run it and then all the metrics will be pushed. But there are a couple of things, uh, you know, uh, the downside of this, for example, if you're running in Docker or some Kubernetes, then you need to, you know, expose this particular port, uh, make sure that networking is not causing any issue to uh, open this uh, dashboard. So that is, you know, you need to experiment and uh, make sure it is working fine. So that's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.